الذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات those men who remember Allah often and those women who make mention of Allah. SubhanAllah, what a beautiful way of Allah elevating the status of the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah. That Allah separates men and women so that you don't find any confusion. That Allah is looking to men and looking to women, that this is such a noble deed that He wants to overemphasize it as an element of, of balagha in this verse. Dhikr of Allah is in the heart is with the tongue and is with the behavior. The Prophet ﷺ says in a profound hadith, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, dunya mal'una, this worldly life has a damned curse upon it. Mal'unu ma fiha, cursed whatever is in it illa arba, except four things. Alim wa muta'allim wa dhikrullah wa ma walahu. Four things that are saved from being cursed by Allah in this worldly life. One who is a scholar, who benefits others with their knowledge and practices it themselves. One who is seeking to learn and to put into practice what they don't yet know. The one who is making mention of God and is a tool for being remembering of Allah. وَمَا وَلَاهُ And that which assists in the remembrance of Allah. What does it mean that the world is cursed? It means that whatever is done in it, once it's utilized, it's forgotten and gone. But these four things that they continue to benefit even after the individual is no longer there. The scholar's presence is felt many years later. We still speak of Al Imam Abu Hanifa wa Malik wa Shafi'i wa Ahmad, Rahmatullahi alayhim ajma'een. The knowledge that is inherited from them, that was inherited from the Prophet and the Prophets of Allah before him, continues to have that blessing, is not eroded. وَمُتَعَلِّمْ Those who seek to learn are the ones who keep the legacy of the ulama alive. May Allah make you and I of them. And everything that the ulama and the students learn is meant to remind us of God. ذِكْرُ The dhikr of Allah means that which reminds you of three essential things. One, what you have done in the past that you need to correct as you move forward into the future. Two, what you have not yet accomplished of how to get to accomplish it. How to get to make your salah better. How to get to make your Qur'an reading more permanent and more consistent in your life. And number three, how you can influence the inside of yourself and others to making it one that recognizes that on the day of judgment, you will stand before Allah to be questioned of your deeds. The greatest dhikr is that which reminds you that you will be questioned about how you lived. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a life of dhikr, a life of remembrance, a life of submission, a life of iman, a life of ihsan towards ourselves, families and others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from al-dhakirin Allah kathiran wa dhakirat those who are plentiful in their dhikr, that our life is a testimony that we remembered Allah in every stage of it, that as we go to work, we are mindful of Allah, as we return into our homes, we are mindful of Allah, when we are in public, we are mindful of Allah and remembering He is seeing us, and when we are in our privacy, we know that Allah is always with us. Allahumma ameen. Subhanallah wa bihamdih. Subhanallah al -azim. Is the greatest dhikr of Allah that is mentioned in that final statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he says that there are two words that when you proclaim them, they are heavy in your scale on the Day of Judgment, loved by Ar-Rahman Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and that they are light for us to say, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al -Azim. Make those two magnificent statements as a regular part of your mornings and nights, for they were always meant to be the ending of any discussion. As I end with this series with you, we end in the way of Ahl Sunnah with that dhikr, as the great books of Hadith of Al-Bukhari and Muslim all end with it. Subhanallah wa bihamdih. Subhanallah al-Azim. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim. Wa zid wa barik ala sayyidina wa nabiyina wa habibina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Your brother Yahya Ibrahim with tazkiyah from the Quran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.